Good morning, students. Today we are going to study about the skeletal system, which is uh, responsible for the locomotion and movement of the human body. So, in this topic, we'll study about the functions of skeletal system, uh, structural details, how it helps in the uh, uh, process of uh, movement. Second, then the types of bones, uh, types of bones, joints, response, and the, their attachment with each other, their attachment or their involvement in the process of locomotion. This, these all things we will discuss in this chapter. So let's start with the first one which is functions of uh, skeletal system. And under this heading, uh, first function is support and shape. Support and shape. Second one is protection. Third is move, movement. Fourth one is leverages. Then formation of blood cells. Sixth is storehouse of calcium and phosphorus. I am repeating support and shape, protection, movement, leverages, formation of blood cells and storehouse of calcium. If this question could be asked for one or two mark question, then you, what are the functions of uh, skeletal system, then you have to write only the, these points and one line description about this. Uh, that would be sufficient if it is asked for two or three mark question. Or even for two marks, you have to give a brief description, single sentence description about the functions. Uh, like the function we are discussing, uh, we are saying that the first function is support and shape. Support and shape the body framework. The, uh, the structural detail, the structure of a person, the personality of a person, it depends upon the um, skeletal framework, skeletal system, the type of bone, the length of bone and uh, shape of bone. Shape is almost uh, similar for everyone but if the bones are fused, uh, suppose in the neck region, you have seen some, some people they are having long neck short neck that neck length depends upon the bone in the this cervical region so neck region that is the cervical bone so length of the cervical bone uh, decides the length of the neck if the bones are fused together if they are uh, just compactly arranged then the neck length is short so all this the uh, support and uh, size support or size of the person uh, some size of the body is just because of the bones and so the first topic is support and shape under this you have uh, you can uh, write that it provides support and framework to all soft part now what does this mean all soft parts uh, you know that brain brain is the most delicate part of our body and it is covered with skull which is the toughest covering so that skull is a protection to the delicate part then lungs lungs are protected by the rib cage so all this um, all the delicate parts or the soft and delicate parts are protected by the uh, skeletal system then you can also write that it gives definite shape to body and its parts so it gives definite shape to body and its parts if it is a function of uh, skeletal system next is protection Protection we have already discussed that uh, brain is a delicate part. It is protected by uh, this um, by the skull. Then um, kidney, kidney is pro protected by the pelvic girdle. So that all this um, system, all this protection, this is for the protection. Uh, the this uh, bone, these uh, these bones, the uh, shape of the finger, this movement of the finger. These are due to the uh, bones and this uh, that the structural details or the structure is defined by the bones also so protection as well as structure then movement i can move my hand or i, I can move my i can fold my uh, fingers all these are due to the joints so the, due to the joints and movement i can move from my player one place to another or we can move from one place to another we can lift an object we can uh, do any work just because of the movement and this movement is provided by the skeletal system next is liver
leverages leverages means uh, you have studied in physics that livers simple liver or the com complex compound liver that liver that uh, mechanism which makes a work easier or suppose uh, we have to lift an object so we are applying it as a liver but here it is not a physics topic here we are discussing about the uh, body structure so liver in this the muscle and bones are connected to each other in such a way that it helps in the movement of the body it makes the movement it makes the uh, work easier and uh, easier and uh, smooth uh, to happen so this leverages is bones and muscles from form levers that increase the speed and dis distance of movement by a muscle so this is the function of uh, liver, um, skeletal system next is formation of blood cells the rbc and wbc rbc red blood cells wbc the white blood cells they are formed in the marrow of the long bones this we will discuss in the chapter so just a short brief um, one sentence slide you can write here that um, red blood cells and w, um, w, wbc or the white blood cells are formed in the marrow of the long bones then stored house of calcium and phosphorus bones are made up of calcium and phosphorus so they are mainly the storehouse of calcium and phosphorus in the body next is constituents of skeleton constituents of skeleton are number one bones number two cartilages and, and number three is ligaments The skeletal system is composed of bones, cartilages and ligaments. Bones, the heart framework, this complete skeletal system is made up of heart um, framework and that is the bones. So, um, ligaments or cartilages are the soft bones which are present uh, at some places where there is less movement or uh, where articulation is there. So that uh, especially the nose um, the bones present at the, at the tip of the nose, in the ears, so this um, or uh, in the knee, knee where the two bones are uh, the, near the kneecap. So that um, these portions, the cartilages are present at some places only while uh, the complete framework is made up of bones. Ligaments, ligaments help in attachment of bone to bone or uh, its uh, muscular um, its attachment with the muscles for the movement next is uh, what is a bone Bo bone is a hard component which is made up of calcium and phosphorus which gives a structural support to the body it is having four different um, the bones are of four different types long bones short bones flat bones and irregular bones long bones the characteristics of long bone is the shaft with a knob now what is a shaft if you remember this type of for the dogs we make like this type so this is termed as um, knob so shaft with knob first property is shaft with a knob shaft is thick walled and tubular this this shaft is thick walled and tubular. Inside this uh, shaft, there is yellow marrow. Inside this shaft, yellow marrow is present. And for this, the question could be formed: name a uh, name a bone in which yellow marrow is present. Then you have to write long bones. An example of long bone is the bones are present in the arm, bones of the legs or chest. Uh, rib cage, the, all the long bones or the places where long bones are present, they, it contains yellow marrow in it. So shaft is present, shaft with a knob, shaft with a thick wall, tubular structure, yellow marrow is present. This is about the long bones. Next is short bones. Short bones are box like structures with spongy bones. Now 
box like structure if uh, we are the same box like then the first thing comes in our mind is that cranium cranium is a box so uh, it shows little movement and uh, the these bones are present in the um, ankle and wrist region here bomb box like bones are present in the ankle and wrist region these bones give little movement only this movement is provided by the um, short bones next is flat bones flat bones they are two or more compact bones in which the spongy bone is enclosed so the spongy bone enclosed in two or more compact bone forms a flat bone and this is present in the shoulder blade skull region and the sternum sternum is the front part of the chest where the rib cage this type of rib cage is joined ribs are joined to the front part of the chest and that is the sternum so sternum shoulder blade and skull next is irregular bones irregular bones are complex in shape they are having both compact and spongy bone where they are present complex structures they are present in the facial bone they are present in the vertebra so this i am repeating constituents of skeleton is bones cartilages and ligaments bone is a hard framework made up of calcium and phosphorus bone is of four types long bones short bones flat bone and irregular bones long bones are present in, uh, in the arm region in the legs or the rib uh, ribs in this the shaft is having knob at the end the shaft is long tubular thick walled it contains it in it encloses the yellow marrow so this then is a short bone short bone is box like box like spongy bone which shows very little movement it is present in the ankle and wrist region next is flat bones flat bones are the bones which are made up of two compact on two compact bones enclosing a spongy bone here now uh, it is present in the skull sternum and uh, shoulder blade irregular brain bones complex in shape it is present in the facial bones it is present in the vertebra next uh, in this we will uh, discuss three questions also one question one more question would be asked what do you mean by decalcified bone if the bones are dipped in bones if the bones are dipped in weak hcl weak hydrochloric acid weak hydrochloric acid then it results in removal of removal of minerals and removal of minerals means decalcification de the bones are termed as decalcified so for this answer you will uh, you will write that when bones are dipped in weak hcl weak hydrochloric acid uh, mineral parts gets removed and then the bone is the bone becomes soft and this is termed as decalcified bone then uh, second question is uh, ash how it is formed when the bones are heated strongly heated remove strongly heated when the bones are strongly heated then it would result in removal of organic matter organic matter and the bone becomes brittle and fragile next question uh, for one more colleague uh, why the bones in older people or elderly people uh, are brittle and fragile or the after fracture it takes long time to get um, to join or uh, to recover for this also there is a that the reason is with the old age bones 
organic matter of the bones organic matter of the bones get reduced get reduced and this result in fragile bones this result result in late recovery from the fracture now let's discuss the structure of a bone structure of typical bone and uh, a bone uh, is a highly calcified structure it is hard it is made up of rigid connective tissue osteocytes are present osteocytes mean the osteocytes osteo is the word used for bone sites for the cell so the bone cells are present which is arranged in a concentric ring arranged in a concentric ring that is uh, osteocytes osteocytes are embedded in a matrix which is deposited with fibrous uh, collagen fibers and mineral salts are present in that matrix a matrix is a uh, substance in which uh, cells are present uh, we can say that these are the collagen fibers cells are embedded in this the osteocytes or the bone cells are present fibers are present so this mineral salts are present in this structure so matrix is the component or the semi liquid component which which encloses the bone cells which encloses the fibrous collagen which encloses the collagen fibers which encloses mineral salts then one more word is periosteum it is very very important just mark important very important for this periosteum for single uh, one more word answer periosteum it is a membranous covering on the bone membranous covering on the external surface of the bone and it contains fibrous and cellular layers which is richly supplied with blood vessels thin membranous covering on the external surface of bone which is richly supplied with blood vessels it contains fibrous and cellular layers cellular layers in this then inside the bone marrow is present marrow is of two types yellow marrow and red marrow yellow marrow is made up of adipose tissue and blood uh, blood vessels adipose tissue the tissues or the cells which is responsible for the storage of fat so um, yellow marrow is because of that fat storage or the color is yellow, slightly yellowish in color so the uh, yellow marrow and it gives rise to the wbcs or the white blood cells next is red marrow red marrow is present at the end of the bone end of the bone and it produces rbc or the red blood red blood cell in the structure given here you can see in the diagram the long tubular part is made up of compact bone inside that compact bone compact dense bone fat that fatty yellow marrow is present fatty fatty word is used for adipose tissue at the ends come at both the end hyaline cartilage is uh, ligaments are present hyaline cartilage is for cartilage as i have already mentioned that soft bones are termed as cartilage so the at the end of the bone hyaline cartilage is present ligaments are pre present for joining for joining the bones and this at the end spongy bone trabecule of trabecule with red marrow red marrow in this also we have mentioned that um, red marrow is present at the ends and it is responsible for the production of rbcs so this is about the structure of uh, bone